Hey there, adventure time on the PCT. I'm uh, halfway through my day. Gotta get to over there, this cab is on. But I'm taking switchbacks that are getting me down this valley here. And um, just past the 200 mile mark an hour ago or so. And so that's the, I forgot what the number would be, but that's the farthest I've ever hiked before. Um, saw my seventh snake today, and then saw the eighth one, and the eighth one was a rattlesnake. I got some pictures and video of that one. And so first rattlesnake was at mile 199 or so. So this is descending down towards Cabazon and Palm Springs is that way. The hot springs are up there. And there's all those wind farms down there you can see. Um, in the last 24 hours I descended from 10,800 feet down to what'll be, uh, I don't know, 2,000 or so, or 1,500. So a lot of downhill, a lot of pain in the knees and ankles. And, um, and anybody who's doing it, prepare. I would suggest getting as close to the edge of Fuller Ridge, like mile 194 or so, before heading down. This is a long, slow descent. There's water, I think it's the North Fork. Uh, I forgot, North Fork of San Jacinto River or something like that, oh, uh, where you can get water. I would suggest cameling up there and, and uh, if it's hot, at least, bringing at least four or five, six liters. This is a long, downhill stretch. I'm down to one liter, less than a liter, and I still have four miles to go or so, I believe. Um, so that puts me just to the edge of my comfort zone. I like to have more water than that. Um, other than that, things are going great and look forward to my seeing my family and having the zero day tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll just kind of bring you along the trail here for a little bit. So you can see part of the descent down to the valley floor. That's the uh, far off in the distance. That's the I-10. And so by the end of the day, I'll have gone from total from the Mexican border all the way to the I-10. And that's over 210, 210 PCT miles. watching.